name's Karen Wood and I'm the Community Development Worker at Pallian Action Group. We've got a couple of our volunteers trained as the dance coaches and they've been doing the street show and they won the local little talent show and they're going down to London and originally they were going to go to the Got to Dance XL in London but um, the Got to Dance have actually cancelled that so instead of disappointing them they're going to the Pineapple Dance Studios and they're going to have lessons in the Pineapple Dance Studios they're going to um, stop in a hotel overnight and then go and see a show, Stomp and then I think there's only two of the, the group of 18 who's going down who's actually been to London before. So that's going to be very exciting for them. Mm -hmm. We've got um, a gardening project. So we've, got a, we've rented off Gen 2, a landlocked piece of land in Falmouth Road. And we're working alongside SEED with funding from the lottery to renovate the garden. The young people have planned what's going in the garden. They've planned, um, they've done consultations with the clients of Pallian Action Group who range from 0 to 100 and found out what they want to see at the garden. So they're going to have a little sensory bit, uh, a storytelling bit. They're going to be able to grow herbs in the garden. Um, there's going to be little clues along so they can do little mazes and everything. It's going to be like a secret oasis and we've getting the local residents who live in the area to come along and volunteer on there as well. And that started, the work on that started um, in January this year, because it was delayed a little bit with the snow. And who can come along to these sessions? Any volunteers can come along on a Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. So anybody at all who wants to get involved in the gardening project and come along any Thursday or Friday from 10 o'clock onwards. Sometimes they might need to just ring ahead at Pallian Action Group mm -hmm. to make sure they're going to be on site because a lot of the, everything that we're using on the garden is going to be reclaimed. So they sometimes have trips out to the beach to go and get driftwood and they're looking for people who's got any broken tiles and terracotta pots um, that they can donate. But anybody can come along and volunteer. I've just started uh, my new post in Pag, which is a community development post. And the project we've set up is called Great Aspirations, and that's getting people into employment, doing CVs, interview skills, but also getting them the relevant training qualifications that they want. So, for example, we've, we started the project on the 4th of January, and we've done first aid courses, and um, we've got four people going on a lifeguard course. We've got one lad who's just passed his CSCS card. We have learning concepts in who do the literacy numeracy level two and ICT level two with the view to do some more online learning if they want. We've got the learn to drive project and alongside that learning concepts, um, if you do your MV, sorry, your um, level two in literacy and numeracy and ICT, you could be entitled to up to 15 driving lessons. So if you're doing the learn to drive, you're going to get your theory and your provisional. And then if you do your seeing numeracy, you've also got the possibility where you can do some um, driving lessons as well for free. So is that open for everyone? That's open for anybody 19 plus. And it doesn't matter if they're working, anybody who's 19 plus. But we have got um, relaunch of Saturday a favour. Obviously, the Youth Opportunity Funding came through, so we've managed to um, set up Saturday a favour again, which is on um, Saturday, 10 to 2, and it's for young people 8 to 25 who um, have mixed abilities, so anybody with special needs, um, or mainstream young people who want to come along. And some of the activities they're doing on that is circus skills, um, willow waving, the Duke of Edinburgh, and um, they're going to be setting up little trips away and everything, so that's going to be quite nice for them. We've got the parent and group right. on a Monday. We've got a drop in parent and group, which um, was originally set up on a volunteering project at Pan Action Group, but then we've got the young people to get a lot of young parents in, so they've set up their own little thing on a Monday, and it's 10 o'clock till 1. Um, the parents can just come along with the kids. They have different activities that they can do, like boogie baby, and mm -hmm. um, that was off with a couple of the young girls who done the dancing um, with street cheer. 
so they do baby boogieing and the kids have toys and it's a nice it's a nice change for them to come and just drop in and be able to catch up with each other.